The Moto Z and Moto Z Force have been on the market for just over a month and we're already getting another version. Say hello to the Moto Z Play, the last and least expensive member of the Moto Z family. The Z Play will set you back $408 when it launches on September 8th or $17 a month if installment plans are your thing. Now that price tag is relatively accessible, but the Z Play is still going to be a Verizon exclusive in the States, so it won't be for everyone right out of the gate. Even so, the Z Play turned out to be a remarkably solid little mid-range phone during a weekend of really informal testing. The octa-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 625 and 3GB of RAM was enough to keep things moving at a very steady pace, and the 16MP camera turned out better shots than I expected. Now, for those of you keeping count, that's actually a higher resolution than the super slim Moto Z can shoot at, but I prefer the latter's photos just a little more. Meanwhile, the software situation is about what you'd expect. It's a mostly stock-ish version of Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow, along with most of Motorola's usual handy software tricks and a lot of preloaded Verizon apps. Toss all that into a glass and metal body and throw in a bright 5.2-inch screen running at 1080p, and you've got one neat, cheap, familiar package. And since it's a member of the Z family, the Z Play also plays nice with the full assortment of Moto mods. In fact, the Z was announced alongside that long-rumored add-on camera mod from Hasselblad. It's just too bad the one Motorola gave us to test stopped working after a while. Anyway, if you've played with either Moto Z model before, you'll feel right at home with the new Z Play. There are, however, two things that make the Moto Z Play more than just a cheap little sibling to two ambitious flagship phones. First, there's its battery life. The combination of Android and Marshmallow's Doze feature and the phone's 3510mAh battery means the Z Play usually stuck around for between two and three days of mixed usage on a single charge. The battery here is actually a little bigger than the one in the US-only Moto Z Force, making it the biggest battery Motorola has ever produced. And second, it has a headphone jack. Motorola was adamant about removing that classic port from the Moto Z and Moto Z Force because it was the way of the future. And they might still be right about that, and in fairness, the USB Type-C dongles they included with those earlier Moto Zs worked well enough, but this design choice doesn't look great for Motorola's rhetoric. To hear them tell it, there's a headphone jack here because the design of the Z Play's logic board had room for it. That's it. They weren't compromising on their vision, they weren't responding to a backlash, they say they saw an opportunity, and they went for it. We didn't have enough time to give the Moto Z Play the sort of review it deserves, so we'll keep playing with it to see what else shakes out. For now though, the Z Play seems to strike a commendable balance between price and performance, so stay tuned as we see if that first impression holds up. <laughs>